This video is sponsored by The Great Courses Plus, but more on that later. Long before most Americans had even heard of Vietnam, the British took on Ho Chi Minh's communists, the Viet Minh, and won. World history could have been very different if the British had fully succeeded, and the later Vietnam War would probably never have happened. In 1945, Vietnam was, along with Cambodia and Laos, called French Indochina. Colonized by France in the late 19th century, Japan had occupied the territory in 1940, initially with French cooperation, but later imprisoned the colonists and taken over completely. When Japan surrendered at the end of World War II in August 1945, a power vacuum was created in Vietnam, where revolutionary Marxist Ho Chi Minh wanted to establish an independent republic before the French could return. The heavily armed, though surrendered Japanese army remained in Vietnam, and with no French forces available to disarm and repatriate them, the British stepped in, becoming embroiled in Ho Chi Minh's fight for independence. The seeds of the Vietnam War in the 1960s were sown by two events that occurred in 1945. The first was Supreme Allied Commander General Douglas MacArthur's refusal to permit the British to occupy Vietnam immediately after the Japanese surrender in August 1945. MacArthur wanted to be seen to take the main Japanese surrender aboard the battleship USS Missouri in Tokyo Bay in September 1945. The second was the failure of the later British occupation force in Vietnam to completely destroy the Viet Minh before being prematurely withdrawn by the British government. Britain came tantalizingly close to pacifying post-war Vietnam with barely a tenth of the troops later used by the US, only for circumstances beyond their control to prevent their mission, called Operation Masterdom, from succeeding. In September 1945, a British force was sent to French Indochina to disarm and repatriate Japanese troops, ensure civil order, and offer humanitarian assistance to Allied prisoners of war and civilian internees still in Japanese camps. MacArthur's decision meant that what the British found was a Saigon largely under the control of Ho Chi Minh's Viet Minh nationalists armed with Japanese weapons. When Japan surrendered in August 1945, the communist Viet Minh moved quickly to establish control over Vietnam, arming itself with Japanese weapons and taking over government offices and administration from the Vichy French regime. Indochina fell under the responsibility of Admiral Lord Louis Mountbatten's Southeast Asia Command, or SEAC, and it was vital to move British troops into several former Southeast Asian colonies to disarm and repatriate Japanese troops and pave the way for the return of the colonial powers. Unfortunately, the British government could not supply the necessary men and equipment. In Vietnam, Britain launched Operation Masterdom in September 1945. Major General Douglas Gracie's 80th Indian Infantry Brigade occupied Saigon and carefully took over public utilities and administration from the numerically superior Viet Minh. One problem was General Gracie's rearming of French interned by the Japanese. Released French POWs were ill-disciplined and killed both Viet Minh and innocent civilians they suspected of being Viet Minh. This led the Viet Minh to view the British as helping reimpose French colonialism. In turn, they massacred 300 French and Eurasian families. The situation deteriorated rapidly and heavy fighting broke out, but the communists launched a series of mass assaults against Saigon, forcing British, Indian and Gurkha units to mount defensive battles. In an extraordinary move, Gracie, chronically short of men, ordered that Japanese troops be rearmed and placed under British control. They proved to be excellent, though controversial, fighters, Japanese units serving alongside British forces in combat. These battles were the last for the wartime Imperial Japanese Army, which had actually legally ceased to exist in Japan, which had no official army at this time. Another British infantry brigade arrived in October 1945, as well as some French troops, but the Viet Minh assaults were relentless against Saigon and its environs. 
the British used their jungle warfare and counterinsurgency experience to aggressively patrol and locally defeat Viet Minh forces. A special British-Japanese task force known as Gate Force managed to push the Viet Minh away from Saigon in fierce fighting. A Gurkha mission sent to rescue French hostages gallantly stormed a fort in vicious hand-to-hand fighting. By this stage, the British were on the verge of winning the First Vietnam War. However, in December 1945, fresh French forces began to arrive from Europe. Many of them were former French resistance fighters with no experience of colonial soldiering. Their attitude towards the Vietnamese was harsh and engendered widespread resentment among many ordinary Vietnamese, and of course, fueled support for the Viet Minh. Unable to cope, this force rapidly lost ground to the Viet Minh, who recaptured most of the vital Central Highlands region. British warnings to reinforce General Gracie's troops were ignored by London. The British government prioritised Malaya over Vietnam, where Chinese communists were attempting to undermine British rule in another colony recaptured from the Japanese. The government began the withdrawal of British forces from Indochina with disastrous historical consequences. In January 1946, the British won their last major battles against the Viet Minh. The British and Japanese tactically defeated the Viet Minh, forcing them to resort to the first modern unconventional war marked by ambushes, hit-and-run tactics, and assassinations. If reinforced, aggressive British patrolling by jungle warfare experienced troops would have countered even these threats and restored order in Vietnam. At the end of January 1946, the British handed over command to the French. The last British troops left in May 1946, leaving the French responsible for disarming the Japanese and pacifying the country. In the aftermath of the British withdrawal, thousands of people died as the French rapidly lost control. Ho Chi Minh's failure to secure independence from the French ended in the opening of the Indo-Chinese War, ending in complete French defeat in 1954, the eventual intervention of the United States and its own defeat in 1975. If the British had been permitted longer in Vietnam and been significantly reinforced, the Viet Minh would have been destroyed, communism finding very little support among ordinary Vietnamese at the time. This error, and the error of allowing the French to return with inferior military units, ultimately led to French defeat and American involvement in Vietnam. For only 40 dead, the British almost managed to stabilise Vietnam. Under British control, over 2,700 Viet Minh had been killed, and the organisation militarily defeated. This episode of Mark Felton Productions was brought to you by The Great Courses Plus, where you can get video access to over 11,000 video lectures tonight by award-winning professors from the Ivy League and other top universities around the world about anything that interests you. My recommendation? The lecture series American Military History, From Colonials to Counterinsurgents, hosted by General Wesley K. Clark. For more information on the fantastic courses available, visit the address on your screen, or check out the link in the description box below. 